Hi everyone, alongside Mike Trosel, I'm Dave Giancola. Thanks for joining us again to celebrate another decade of U.S. Opens. This time it's the 1940s, obviously a significant decade in terms of global history with the USGA suspending all championships, including the U.S. Open between 1942 and 1945 due to World War II. Yeah, but Dave, the following years produced some thrilling opens with classic finishes. Lloyd Mangrum won a three-way playoff in 1946, then Lou Worsham edged Sam Snead in extra holes in 1947. Snead actually never trailed that playoff until he missed a two and a half foot par putt on the final hole. It was probably his best chance to win an Open. Yeah, Mike, the end of the decade was fantastic. It concluded with Ben Hogan winning the first U.S. Open played on the West Coast in 1948 and the Tennessee dentist, Kerry Middlecoff, winning the following year. Here are the U.S. Opens of the 1940s. The greatest show in golf, the National Open, brings out the fans in Cleveland, Ohio, and I mean out. Lloyd Bangram, busy right now sinking a long one, battles Byron Nelson and Dick Gezzi in the two-round playoff. And Gezzi sinks one to keep in the running. If Nelson makes this one, he'll be hard to beat. Oh, too bad. After five war years, the Open proves a big event for the fans. Nelson is trailing on the last hole, and Gezzi is also one stroke behind Mangrum as he cards a 73. All Mangrum has to do is sink this one, and he wins by one point. The young Texas war veteran cops the coveted title and gets a birdie from his wife. And then on 18, Worsham is over the green, I'm on the green, and he hit his chip shot, it hit the green, it hit the flag and stopped. And I put it down short. And I got down, I'm ready uh, to putt. And Worsham said, I think I'm away. Well, we're not playing match play. Now, Ike Granger was, uh, was the referee. And I said, Ike, I know the rule. I know once you have putted, you can finish out in metal play. And he came up, picked a uh, ruler out of his pocket, and measured both balls, and I'm a half inch out. 
And I was so mad then I couldn't see straight. Of course, I missed it. And uh, then he, he hold it. And that was another one uh, that got away. That's the only regret I have uh, ever uh, was not winning the U.S. Open. It's the round of the National Open in Los Angeles. Jimmy DeMerritt drives. Jimmy Ternesa. Ben Hogan tees off. And here's Lou Worsham. The gallery at the Riviera Country Club closely follows the nation's top professionals and squirm at moments like this. Mm -hmm. Oh! Lou Worsham fails to retain his open title but succeeds in thrilling the folks with a brilliant 45-foot putt. Jimmy DeMerritt just misses the title and at the moment just misses on a fine putting effort. It's second place in the open for Jimmy. Sammy Sneed takes down fifth position and obliges the gallery with a souvenir of the tournament. Playing record-breaking golf, little Ben Hogan captures top honors today to add to his recent PGA victory. Little Ben, Goliath of golf. At Medina Country Club, Chicago, Clay Hefner tees off in the U.S. Open Golf Tournament. Next, Kerry Middlecoff. Now, Sam Sneed. Lloyd Mangrum swings. The golfing gallery is treated to plenty of pulsating play, such as Mangrum's tantalizing near miss. Sneed, in contention all the way, makes easy work of this one. Now Hefner shows you how to putt from 20 feet away. Kerry Middlecoff battling for the title, falters on the final hole. But the golfing dentist makes good this time, and with a card of 286 for the 72 holes, wins the championship by a stroke and a kiss from his wife. Ah, what a life. <laughs> 